clear. There's some, there is some propaganda that has been placed out there. Let, let's be very clear. These contingent rights are attached to this CARICOM Skilled Nationals Program. The propaganda that has gone out there has sought to give Barbadians the impression that any CARICOM citizen is now entitled to come to Barbados to work and reside and to bring their spouse and children. That is not true. These rights are attached specifically to the CARICOM Skilled Nationals Program. It is only a CARICOM national who comes to Barbados with a CARICOM Skills Certificate that is accepted in Barbados, that is able to find work in Barbados, that is then given permission by the Barbados government to reside and work indefinitely in Barbados, it is that person, and only that person, that has been granted the right for their, their spouse to join them, their children uh, to join them. Now, the, carry, the amount of CARICOM nationals who are entering Barbados under the CARICOM Skills National Program is a very small number. I mean, I've heard something about Haitians. Literally, if you have three or three or four Haitians that have been admitted under this program, you have a lot. So, very, very few Haitians have been admitted under the Skills National Program. The, the sad reality is that um, Haiti does not have the infrastructure in place to, to, to issue um, CARICOM skill certificates to its nationals. Um, so the numbers, ladies and gentlemen, the numbers are very small. In fact, I regret that the numbers are so small because I am saying that this program is a program that has tremendous potential um, for the national development of all the member states of CARICOM. $100,000. So any contract for any government contract for services that's below US three hundred thousand is reserved for nationals. Above it, um, carry com um, companies and, and uh, service providers right across the region will be entitled to bid. Um, once again, in the case of the lesser developed countries, they ask that for them the threshold will be lifted to US four hundred four hundred thousand. Um, and that has been that has been agreed to. So, again, um, we are forging ahead in creating one single economic space. This is the whole idea that um, these fifteen territories want to create a single space, a single economic space, a single a single space in in in, in virtually every respect. A single investment space, a single space for financial services, a single space for information and communications technology, a single space for how telecommunication companies operate so that they cannot play the divide and rule um, role. And um, in that respect, we also had um, meetings at the, at the conference with the president of Estonia country that has um, been a pioneer in developing the digi digital economy, in digitizing the, the, the country, really taking information and communications technology to a very high level, introducing electronic governance and so forth. And it has, it has been agreed that Estonia and CARICOM will collaborate in um, in um, the digital development of the CARICOM region.